Hello everyone, this is another Pusun Senki review. This time is another EX set, except this time is the EX set plus the Type MMS Firearm Salon Guard. So once again, let's talk about the box first. Now you can see this box is bigger, in fact it's the size of a uh, normal full set. That is because all of this is an EX set, it's called EX set uh, EX set plus because it's actually the EX set plus a blank body. It's one of its kind. They only make salon grad in this configuration form. They never release uh, any of the other EX set in this in this way. Originally, when people see this, um, they're thinking that the old EX set must be, must be gone, and they're going to do it like this from now on, simply because. It's so difficult to actually get a blank body for the uh, for the EXZ to use. In fact, they didn't do that, and they literally removed the EXZ from um, from the line from after uh, the release of Salengrad. It's a bit odd. So once again, like the standard e um, standard full armor set, got an open window and. Uh, um, and a photo of uh, various configuration and form. And you can see certain crowd in there. So let's take her out and show you what she looks like. And here is Selengrad in blank mode, and she is literally blank. When they say that this is an EX set plus a uh, standard standard uh, blank body, they weren't kidding because this is literally just a blank body in grey. But uh, that's another interesting thing. Um, they never released a grey body version uh, of the blank body. So this is the only way you can actually get a blank body in grey. Uh, uh, another thing that is actually slightly missing is that they never released uh, uh, the blank body's um, blank head. So you, so they only release it with uh, Sandcraft's head. So it come with uh, two facial expression. One is here, which is, which is basically normal, neutral, slightly happy, and then there is a slightly more angry version of the head. They also come with a, a, a spe another hair piece, which comes with the helmet. Just to show you her angry face. Yep. So that's about it for the blank bodies. Nothing special. Well, there is nothing to talk about. There's no paint job, no nothing. So let's get on to the armor form. Okay, and here is Salengrad in fully armored, which um, by the looks of it, everyone must be thinking, how come fully armored and she still look really, really bare? Well, that's because her name is Type Firearm. She doesn't actually, so uh, armor-wise, she doesn't actually get much. Um, she does come with some extra bits and pieces. Uh, if you don't like her holding, um, wearing her helmet, there is a spare helmet, which can't be uh, equipped onto, onto the head um, with the bare hair piece, because actually it's too small. Um, there is also an alternative uh, eye piece, which you can actually put onto this helmet to have a night scope effect. Um, eyesight on her. There we go. Whoops. Hmm. Ah, that's the reason. I was wondering why this is so loose. There we go. So you can see a really, really cool uh, laser um, long ring sight eyepiece. 
So this is called type firearm and here is the reason why. So it comes with, let's start with a small one, a pistol with a bayonet knife at the end. And actually it comes with this. This is a ha this is a um, that is a trigger piece which can work with a laser gun barrel, a mini gun barrel, and a shotgun barrel, which will I'll put it here for the time being. So at any time she has one trigger system and she can actually arm any of the three barrels onto her. So let's give her a arm to actually hold it. Hold on for a second. There we go. So what does she do with um, the other two barrels when she's not using them? Well, uh, Saturn Grant actually comes with... Sorry about that, I actually keep the whole a uh, seven class set in the box. So come with this two piece, which you can actually mount onto the side of each of the gun, so that you can lock them onto her backpack. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. Just like that. She so also come with a additional arm spike, as you can see here, which is designed to arm to her left arm uh, armor part only. So she got, despite being type five arm, she actually got one, well two, two close range weapon to use. So what else does she do with uh, the various firearm? Well, the thing is, um, Saturn Grad is one of the set where you can just play around with it. You can build it into any form you like, uh, such as arming her with the shotgun, or minigun, or beam rifle, or you can arm her beam rifle, her arm spike, together along with the accessory uh, machine gun barrel for a long range anti-tank rifle. You can also arm her gun onto her leg and use them as mechanized leg or even no arm at all. You're a robot, why do you actually need to have arm and hold a gun? Might as well arm the gun right onto your arm. Basically, Xenograd is there for your imagination. Do anything you want with it. And in the worst case scenario, when you actually set her into a pose that she can actually stand up properly, she also comes with the basic stand. So yeah, that's basically it for Xenograd. Well, it's a really stylized and really cool Lego set. And, well, just like the rest of the Bushinki line, but um, Xenograd is even more focused on um, play around and mess around with it. So yeah, I recommend it if you actually got a chance to get it. And if you're a Mecha fan, you'll probably like this one a lot more than uh, the rest of the Bushinki line. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next review.